Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chemical Engineering Knowledge. In the previous lecture we have discussed about the algebraic method to determine interfacial concentration. In this lecture we will discuss about another method which is called the graphical method. Let's first discuss the previous lecture, the algebraic method in brief discussion. In the previous method, we discussed the algebraic method. We say that this is the interface, this is the liquid film, this is the gas film, this is the bulk of gas, this is the bulk of liquid. Component A coming from bulk of gas passes through the gas film then passes through the liquid film and coming out to the bulk of liquid region here the concentration of component a was y a b here the concentration here the concentration of component a was here the here the concentration of component a was y a i here the concentration of component A was XAI and in this play and in the bulk of and in the bulk of in this region concentration of A was Y X A B. We said that at steady state process during steady state process at that at this interface we said that during steady state process at this interface there is no accumulation of component A during steady state process also. We said that N A is equal to K Y Y A B minus Y A I is equal to K X X A I minus X A b then from this equation suppose this was equation one from this equation we obtained y a i by rearranging this equation a similarly we find another equation which was y a i is a function of x a i so there was this x a b and this y a b is usually obtained by measuring instrument that is, if they are easily obtained by measuring instrument, the Kx and Ky are usually given to us. So, the only terms are Xai and Yai, which are unknown to us. So, there are two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, and two unknown. So, we can determine the Xai and Yai easily, and this method was called the algebraic method. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss another method which is called the which is the which is called the graphical method. So in this lecture we will discuss another method which is called the, the graphical method. So in this lecture we will discuss another method which is called the graphical method. Graphical graphical method. So in this lecture we will discuss the second method which is called the graphical graphical method to determine the interfacial concentration which is y a i and x a i so what is the graphical methods we will discuss this method in some steps in first steps in step number one in step number one we will plot Plot not 
equilibrium curve plot equilibrium curve on x y plane plot equilibrium curve on x y plane in strip number one so suppose this is the x y plane this is the x y plane so first of all we plot the equilibrium curves on x y plane from equilibrium points from the equilibrium equilibrium point so we did some experiments in lab and we obtained some equilibrium points so suppose this is one equilibrium point this is another another so we plot this connect this point and we plot the equilibrium curve this is the equilibrium curve equilibrium this is the equilibrium curve now in the second step in the second step in the second step in the second step find the bulk concentration determine the bulk concentration concentration the bulk concentration was y a b and x a b or it can be p a b it can be x a b it depends on the process so these bulk concentration can be determined by concentration measuring instrument so this bulk concentration can be easily determined as we have already discussed the bulk concentration can easily determined we will take samples from the bulk of case and we will find the concentration of component a in the bulk of case region similarly we will take sample from the bulk of liquid region and we will find the concentration of component a in the bulk of liquid region so we can find uh, the component of our interest in the bulk of gas and in the bulk of liquid by measuring by concentration measuring uh, instruments so this is the second step now the, the third step step number 3 the kx and ky value are given to us so Ax usually kx and ky will you are given to x yeah. given to us usually the kx and ky are given will you are given to us the kx is the mass transfer coefficient on the liquid phase on the basis of liquid phase this is the mass transfer coefficient on the gas phase basis of so uh, so we will find the slope of the line so the slope of the line can be found by kx divided by ky this slope of the line which is m so in the third step we will find the slope of the line which is obtained from the kx and ky now what is this kx and ky the kx and ky are the mass transfer coefficient the mass transfer coefficient will usually be given to us in the problem so in the third step now in the fourth step in step number four this is the last step in step number 4 we will connect connect the slope connect the slope and the slope with equilibrium connect the slope with equilibrium curve connect the slope with equilibrium curve and find equilibrium concentration and find y a i and y a e and x a e these are the equilibrium concentration so connect the slope connect this uh, slope of the line with the equilibrium curve and find the equilibrium concentration from the equilibrium curve this yae and xae will be obtained from the equilibrium curve when we connect 
the slope of the line with the equilibrium curve. Then we will obtain the equilibrium points. Y A E N X A E. So let's discuss this by step one by one. This four step. So So first of all, first of all, we will we will make the equilibrium curve. We will we will make the equilibrium curve. So this is the x y plane. We will we will make some equilibrium curve from the point. This is the step one. Equilibrium curve. This is the step one. Then we will point. This is this. X Y plane. Then we will make. We will. Then we will determine the bulk concentration. Suppose the bulk concentration is Y A B and X A B. Suppose this is the Y A B, Y A B, and this is the X A B. This is the X A B. So find the bulk concentration. the bulk concentration then in step number 2 we find the bulk concentration suppose this is at point a then in step number 3 we will find the slope of the line now in step number 3 we will connect this point with this equilibrium with this equilibrium curve then how can we connect this point we can connect this with this this type we else we can also connect This type we can also connect like this. We can connect the point A with the equilibrium curve like this. We can connect the point A with the equilibrium curve like this. We can connect point A with the equilibrium curve like this. Then how will then how will we connect point A with equilibrium curve? It will depend on the slope of this line. Slope of this line. And how can we obtain the slope of this line? So. In step number three, we will obtain the slope of the line. So the slope of the slope of the line, the slope of the line will be obtained by equation, which is m a equal to k y y a b y a i is equal to k x is equal to k x x a i. A, B. From this equation, we will obtain the slope of this line. So, this is N A steady state. This is also we have, we have also obtained this equation in the previous method, which was the algebraic method. So, we said that it require equilibrium at steady state. Uh, we said that uh, at steady state process, there is no accumulation of component A at the interface, and the flux passing through the Gas flame will be equal to this is the flux passing through the flux of component A passing through the gas phase. This is will be equal to the flux of component A passing through the liquid flame. This is the flux of component A passing through the liquid flame. So N A is equal to K Y and two Y A B minus Y A I is equal to K X and two X A I minus X A B. Now rearrange this equation. Suppose the equation A. Rearrange this equation. We will get Y A B. Minus y a i divided by x a b a b minus x a b a b is x a i is equal to minus k x divided by k y, and this is nothing but the slope of the 
plot the slope of the this line slope of the line so the minus kx and ky are value are given to us so simply divide kx by ky and take minus sign we will get slope we will get slope of the line and this is the line and the slope of the line is this is the line so the slope of this line this is the line and the slope of this line will be equal to minus k x divided by k y suppose the slope of this line is minus 0 0.5 then how can we obtain the slope this slope can be obtained by using equation like in trigonometry we know that tangent theta is equal to slope tangent theta slope is m so from this we can obtain that theta is equal to tangent inverse and to slope. So suppose the slope is minus 0 0.5 so tangent inverse minus 0 0.5 it will give us some negative 25 or 26 degree or some other angle minus angle and this is and this is the this is the slope. So suppose this was a straight line, if we uh, take angle, this is straight line, this is 90 degree, this is 180, this is 270 and this is 360. So suppose minus 0, tangent inverse minus 0 0.5, suppose it is minus minus 25 for simply suppose it is minus 25 so we will make minus 25 degree angle minus suppose this is minus 25 we will make minus 25 degree angle minus 25 degree minus 25 degree so we will make minus 25 degree and at last we will connect this is point a and this is minus 25 degree so in step number four we will connect this point a with 25 degree so in last we will connect this minus 25 degree line with the equilibrium curve this is the equilibrium curve this is with this and last we will connect this point a with the equilibrium curve with this equilibrium curve and at last we will find the equilibrium concentration by in in this from this point this is the xae and this is the ya e so at last we obtain the equilibrium of points from the uh, slope and the line and the equilibrium curve so this method is called the Algebra. This is method is called graphical graphical method to determine the equilibrium concentration R Y A I and X A I. Usually, this Y A I and X A I are the equilibrium concentration. So, this can be X A I and this is Y A I. So, this is the graphical method. So, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.